All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. this heavyweight championship fight. Jones is three years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's really first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bogomolka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones! John! yourself at all times on a nice clean safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, not fun. Take down. 
takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Two minutes now to go in the round. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Jones. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. I mean, how many can he take? Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 15 seconds. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Okay, you ready? Round two, ready? Round two underway. job there by Jones. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Straight right hand now, just misses. Nice punch there by Jones. Oh, it's right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's out for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Fight's done. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Jones is back in half guard. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice. Oh, collar tie. Oh! Jones gets.
gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, powers with an overhand left. He stuck that one. All right, single collar tie now. What a punch. Now he engages in a... All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course, you don't succeed. Try, try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, he's got his back now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. You've got to protect that body. Keep your elbows in tight. Stay focused, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good punch, Lance. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. He is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have him. So he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Grounding and pounding away. Nice strikes to the body there by Johnny Bone. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Closed guard. Got clip with the right hand. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Less than three minutes to go now in round number three. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Watch guillotine. That was okay. Now he can escape. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now, we'll see if he can advance position. Jones has got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. There it is. Uh, you ready? You ready? So 
Oh, we have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Jones' cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation oh, to the game. Man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Now he's gonna try to attack the more here. And then now he falls back into the finishing position. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Jones! And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion, and still a winner by submission tonight.